both of these guys clearly have elevated the play of Tua. In week two, 88% of the air yards combined went to Jalen Waddle yeah. and Tyree Kill. A pair of wide receivers both on pace right now for 2,000 plus, bro. Like, what? Look at the release. There's your separation. Wait, wow. Stutter and go. Gets by clean. That is unbelievable. May be the greatest <laughs> catch I've ever seen. You, you can't talk about South Beach right now without talking about the duo, the dynamic duo of Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. Holy hell. In fantasy football, I cannot remember. I was too lazy to look this up. I can't remember ever seeing two wide receivers go for a 40 spot in the same damn game. Well, you're probably correct on that because uh, Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill are the only pair of wideouts with 170 plus yards and two touchdowns apiece in the same game. Since at least 1950, I saw that from our former colleague, Rich Eisen of the NFL Network uh, this weekend. So wow, hilarious to call us co colleagues of Rich Eisen, you know, given our <laughs> given our status at the, at the network and his. But hey, we were in the make we were in the makeup room getting makeup together at the same time. One oh time, me Rich Eisen. so, you know, what? I'll, I'll go ahead and say former colleague. Rich Eisen of the NFL Network. 11 catches on 13 targets for Tyreek, 190 and two touchdowns for the Cheetah. And then for, for Mr. Waddle, uh, 11 catches on 19 targets for Jalen Waddle, 171, two touchdowns. You know what's even more impressive about that, man? Like Tyreek Hill's battling cramps all game. Like that's just crazy. Yeah. This dude's just out there battling cramps. Like I thought, I thought when he left the game again, I thought it was like, there's no way he's coming back, dude. Like, there's just no way. Like, the human body can't respond. He just comes right back out and just starts catching balls again. You're like, yo, this man is superhuman. He, he's not human. That's what it is. These guys are not human. Their after catchability, especially for Jalen Waddle, is just something outrageous, dude. There's so many good receiver duos in the NFL, so many receiver groups overall. We'll talk about a few of like kind of up and coming yeah. ones, but um, you know, this is a new one, the 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 Hill Waddle duo. And I certainly think that even if you don't want to say they're the best, I think you probably have to say they're the most dynamic uh duo of wide receivers right now because of the unique speed that they both bring to the table. I mean, Tyree Kill is probably you know, again, I don't think he's the best receiver in football. I would rank a few guys ahead of him, but he's For certainly sure. the most like <laughs> dynamic guy from a speed perspective. And Jalen Waddle too. There's a, a lot of different ways we could go with this, Crazy, but man. Jalen Waddle is extremely fast. You know, he was number one in success rate versus man coverage among those prospects coming into the league in 2021. You know, so he was a guy who could win at all levels, and I think. That was something that his rookie year uh, reception perception profile showed. You saw in his route success rate chart that, oh, okay, Jalen Waddle can, you know, burn, man. Like he can get down the field. That little pop gun role that they had him playing as a rookie was not really indicative of his full skill set. Like Jalen Waddle can rip it down the field on the nine route, uh, on the corner route, on the out route in the vertical game. Th those are really strong routes. He just wasn't used there as a rookie. He's getting used there now, right? And I think that one of the things that I right. discounted coming into this year was the clarity and vision of this Miami coaching staff from an offensive standpoint because, you know, Mike McDaniel and the boys coming over, like, they've clearly just – they've built this identity around these two receivers. Uh, one of the things I said coming into this year was that if – both Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill from a fantasy perspective were going to pay off their ADPs – one of two things had to happen. Either Tua had to take a massive leap forward or b these two guys were going to have to be the only relevant pass catchers in Miami. And honestly, <laughs> both of those things might have come true at this point. In week two, 88% of the air yards combined went to Jalen Waddle yeah. and Tyreek Hill. 64% of the targets combined to just those two guys. I think the fact they have clarity of vision, the fact they have clarity about these two guys being your best players – it's just so dangerous. It's just impossible to try to cover these two guys together, Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle, and we're seeing the results of that. This is so it's so outrageous, man. And like, you know, I know it's not gonna hold up, you know, but it's just kind of like it is fun to like look at like the on pace stuff just because it's so outrageous. Yeah. But J Jalen Waddle is on pace for 2,040 yards, 26 touchdowns. Tyree Kill is on pace for 162 receptions. 2,400 yards and 17 touchdowns. A pair of wide receivers both on pace right now for 2,000 plus, bro. Like, 
what? Get out of here. This is outrageous. It's out of bounds. It's Chris Carter, Randy Moss. It's Ike Bruce, Tory Holt. This right. is like, th th it's not a Batman and Robin. It's Batman and Batman. And you talk about ranking those pairs. Bro, like, there is no one else. Like, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, that's a good pair. That's a very, very good pair. T. Higgins is not on this level yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. it's just not fair. It's not fair what these guys are doing. Um, and you know, you know what has sneakily helped them, too, is that they have struggled somewhat to run the ball. And yeah. Mike, Mike McDaniel, you know, being the coach that he is, he's like, you know what? Okay, we're not running the ball that well. So, you know what? We're just going to get the ball into our playmaker's hands, and we're just going to do that over and over and over and over again. And I think it's just so smart. Both of these guys clearly have elevated the play of Tua. I think they've also kind of unlocked something in Tua as well, which is kind of like, is he throwing the best footballs? No. No way. <laughs> like, he's underthrowing balls. He's overthrowing. It's fine. But who cares? You know what? The one thing that yeah. I had a real big problem with with Tua was that he couldn't pull the trigger. Now, mm -hmm. he don't care. Like he's right. just like, screw it. I'm throwing it to my guys and like, I'm going to let them go make plays, which I love. I love that about what he's doing right now. He very much looks like from an aggressiveness standpoint, Alabama Tua, um, which I, I think is really cool to see because he's also not getting like the best protection in the entire world either. Their offensive line is not 100% healthy. You know, they just put right. their starting um, right tackle, uh, Austin Jackson on short term IR heading into that right. Ravens game. Just last thing on Tua here, you know, it is kind of one of those things where, He's not. Is he throwing the? Is he Justin Herbert throwing the deep pass? Is he Patrick Mahomes throwing the deep no. pass? No. But no. the results are <laughs> the results are there. He is absurdly efficient. So much better on just like straight throwing go routes right now because he's got Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle. Like, why do you go out and get those two guys? I know it's to cut the margin for error. You know, we could yeah. sit here in like a hypothetical world and be like, well, if Tua was just throwing to this receiver and this receiver from a vertical standpoint would he be efficient no because he's not a great deep end well who gives a damn he's not throwing to those guys <laughs> he is for the next at least like what two three years three, whatever four years go yeah gonna be mm -hmm. throwing to tyree kill and jalen waddle so great that's the result that you got to grade it on right there is what is actually happening on the field and so far through two weeks the results look pretty damn good